Hello guys, welcome back to the Stanley Parable. I have been enjoying this intense game of achievement, I mean, role playing as you listen to the narrator like a normal human being. Anyways, we're gonna get right back into the game and f try and listen to him or deny him. I wanna listen to him, because that seems like a new thing to do. Or can I not? Because I just finished the 430 achievement. Hmm. Let's find out. When Stanley came to a set of nice. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, whatever you say, voice in my head of a crazy person, sir. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, <laughs> Do not alter Stanley this decided to go up to his boss's manager. office, hoping hmm. he might find an answer there. Whiteboard manager. That's actually a pr If I got paid to be a whiteboard manager, that is great. Like, look at this guy. He certainly knows what he's doing. I wonder if I mess with it. Is there like a eraser or a chalk thing? Never mind. <laughs> eraser wouldn't work on that, and chalk would not work on that. What am I saying? Everyone is unique. You, mo <laughs> you most of all. Aw, I feel so special. Hmm. Anything? <laughs> Monetize free to play. Mm, charts. <laughs> Slide same same information. Great. Okay, let's go. Wait. <gasps> A closet. Ooh. I'm going to follow you later. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's What's office. What's downstairs though? Sorry, I, I'm just really interested. Oh, gates of hell. Get to hell. Nope. We are going to listen to him. He is clearly the manager or boss. <gasps> jump out these windows. Nope. I want to jump out the windows just once. Well designed, I must say. Way to go, sir. Ooh. Bum, 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 bum. Stanley hey, that's the manager's office. Icon. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who hmm. orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What Is he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And I mean, so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, Four, five. Two, eight, but of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Unless, I don't know, some guy in my head, kind of. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> hey, Stanley happened to import the correct you? code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. For your information, I am a, a master locksmith. And knew how to type in keypad, even though that's not what a locksmith does. Anyways, ooh, dark and scary. Hello, is there something to eat in my face? I need a giant red eye to pop out right there. That'd be great. But nope, there's giant red things here. <gasps> Big button. Nope. Oh. It's fine. I'm just gonna do laps in this small space. Okay, I'm still doing laps, but you just can't see it because it's loading. <laughs> okay. Nine hundred twenty-seven. He felt a bit peculiar. A little too many laps. There was a stirring of emotion in his chest, <laughs> as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Hmm. This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh God. Why do I feel like I'm playing Alien? Watch the fence. They're in the vents. Bump, bump. Stanley walked crash. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
<laughs> I'll get back to you on this. This is going to take a lot of deep thinking. Okay. So, after looking at my options, that's a big, dark, scary room. That's a long, endless hallway. I think, honestly, that looks scarier because I was just watching X-Men. And this has some... Ooh, wait, do I... Oh, I can't go back now. Too late. Ooh. Hmm, there's that button. Should I? Big scary monster can pop up. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh what my horrible gosh. secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Well, I'm gonna keep on walking. Oh god. Uh oh. What? Why do these consoles have one button on them? I mean, it's simple, but come on. Now the monitors <gasps> jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. <gasps> Who is fired? Each the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Oh and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. <gasps> oh my, oh wait, that one's broken. Where is it? Oh well, who cares. <gasps> oh my gosh, you've been planning this the entire time. Who's fired? That guy's fired. Uh-oh, that must be me. Two. One. Anyway. Burp, burp, burp. Elevator. <gasps> There's a platform. I see you. Oh my gosh. I never knew. It's actually happening. Skynet has taken over. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this That's the insane. only reason he was happy with his boring it's crazy. job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it. I mean, I, I personally like that job. I don't see why Stanley couldn't actually accept no. it. No, but he refused to believe it. I accept he it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. <laughs> Never. You can't it was me. unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he Something truly spent his ceiling. entire life oh, no. utterly blind to the world? Uh oh. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. <gasps> Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, Whoa. eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very oh place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery Ooh, would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. No for more. he would dismantle the controls once home. and for all. There's so many different buttons. Oh, home, paint, oh, this, oh my gosh, I'm not. Oh, I get it, power. <gasps> I'm gonna take this down from the source. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You can't stop me, guards that don't exist. But really should, because this is Skynet. You should have some Terminator or something. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm gonna get back. No, no, I'm kidding. Turn off the power. Oh god, I realized. By turning off the power, it turns off everything. Um. Oh. Well, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> no, I'm gonna take it to the end. <gasps> I, that's, that's, I, I can see something here. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. I can't see anything. Was I can it see over? Shade. Something. This death? Yes. He had won. He, he had defeated like flashing the before machine. my eyes. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. It's actually really cool. And yet, like... even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. That's, Perhaps his goal like had deep. not been to understand, but to let go. 
No longer would anyone so tell him where to go, pretty. what to do, or pretty. how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed. And we were in the English countryside. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. That's so like I was so deep. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. I know I don't want to listen to him, but it's actually like nice. Immense possibility. It's, it's, it would be an actual story. Or an actual like this was exactly you know, the, way. the actual story to right a game. Now, <laughs> the Get things it, it, were meant to happen. Now. And Stanley Pretty. was happy. Oh, that's so cool. Well, I'm going to go back into the uh, closet. The, the cupboard. Or, you know what I mean. And we're back. Okay. I am going Just to go to, to that cupboard. through this door, Stanley thought to himself. Right. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Bam. Through the door. This is different monologue. Hmm. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about this. When Stanley came to a set of two open oh. doors, he entered the door on his Never mind, left. it's the same. Okay, pop, 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 pop. I'm gonna go to the closet, because it's really cool. Pop, pop, pop. Yet there was not a single person this. here either. Feeling a wave of yeah, disbelief, bye. Stanley decided to go up to I'm his home. office, hoping he might Back in the closet! <laughs> Stanley stepped into the room That's closet, so mean. but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. No, I stayed in my broom closet. Can I move this? <gasps> it's a wrench. There was nothing here. No choice to make, something. no path to follow. Just an Shut empty up. broom closet. No reason to still be here. I'm gonna stay in here, damn it. Hmm. These are my new friends. I got Wilson. It was and Stanley. Stanley Wait, was I'm Stanley. What? In the then you must be Jeffrey. Wait anything. a second. But You're not Jeffrey. To interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it mm. is, he's literally just standing there Ooh, doing skin. sweet FA. Yep, you know it. Uh, I'm just gonna sit are you, back. Are you really still in the broom closet? Yep, I am. Standing around doing nothing. No, I'm sitting. Why? Crouching. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Well, because it's a, it's a closet and it's actually quite comfy, and I'd rather not listen to you. But at the same time, I chose to follow your directions. And you do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? No. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, it didn't but... occur to me because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story. That's what you think. So Look how else. many. I never would have thought to Characters there are. We got like five two supporting roles, all these behind the scenes Maybe and editing teams. Somehow it's not saying you're branching trash. path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Great. The broom, the broom closet. If this is the ending, I'm gonna sit in here Stanley and find was out. was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Ow, my feelings! Probably, and he got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Ow! All with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> wow, I, he really doesn't like me being in well, here. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. Hmm, what is it? You're dead. <gasps> you got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here. <laughs> when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. That's exactly what happened. In a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. <laughs> he or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological <laughs> vulnerabilities. Yes, I am it's dying. It's indicative of I am the long-term <sighs> sustainability of your species. Mm -hmm. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, oh. making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. 
so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game mm -hmm. is not lost on them. Okay, right. well... When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Okay, well, I'm dead, clearly, so... I'm gonna go find someone that wants to do this that's not me, so... Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I have gotten this man here. His name is Nathan. Say hi, Nathan. Hi. Okay, Nathan here is going to be playing for me. I know he sounds like me, but that's just because he's my long-lost brother that I thought was dead in a prison in Mexico. So yeah, uh, he's gonna play. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, is it okay if I just start playing now and just... Yeah, 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 it's fine. Okay. Okay, okay, it's fine. Hi guys, this is Nathan, and I'm gonna be filling in for Ben. Uh, don't know why he's in a broom closet, but I think I'm gonna go out. Ah, hmm. second player. It's good to have you on board. Thanks. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. What, what was Ben really that bad? Whoa. I knew, I, I mean, I knew Ben sucked, but... Coming to a staircase, huh. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Hang on a second. Up or down? Up is where he says to go, but there's down. Hmm. Up, down. Up, down. Left, right, side to side. I'm going down. I'm not going to listen to him. He's clearly lying. Ooh. Bright shining light to hell? No? Okay. Ooh, this is ominous. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Up, he up, considered up. the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He okay. might be fired for that. Oh, no. And in such a competitive take it economy, back. why had he I taken go back. that risk? All because yeah. he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. What? All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously is, out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Hey, Ben! None of it is this, is this normal? Sense. I just went in the loop. Mm, it's fine. You'll be fine. Oh, okay. Uh, for example, just gonna keep why on going. couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Holy shit, he's right! Doors close automatically behind him where oh my god, he's right! And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Oh my god, he's right! They're repeating. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, yeah. he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He uh, just hey, it's different. the words it's for different. It. I'm dreaming! Oh, he yelled. not different. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief, Stanley Is it a dream? To have finally found oh my gosh, answer, Ben has been playing it a dream. Wait till I tell his corpse this. Actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And huh. he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. One, two, B, four. That makes this, sense. I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently oh, float God. above the ground. I'm floating! Then ah! he imagined himself soaring through space. Ah! And Stop it! I can't field. move. And right, I mean, can move, but Ooh. it was so much fun. So much and space. Stanley marveled wow. that he'd still not woken up. How hey, was we're he playing really No Man's Sky, everybody. Lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? That was just what I was now thinking. The voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. This is a sight. I'm He's going to explode. A voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people hmm. in their dreams, the truth was one that, of B, course, 12, 12. this was not a dream. How could it be? Was this Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is Whoa. as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Wow. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After Keep all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did it's the voice not dream. see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Hmm. I am control of my dream. dream. I am the one. So I am Neo. Gently. I control and he the himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Mm -hmm. The press of the mattress on his back. 
the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let mm. me wake up, I felt it. he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. I want Please. to push the buttons. It's all I want. Let me push the buttons. I want my apartment and my wife. I had a wife. And my job. All you can't I call that a job, even though. Exactly I don't know what Ben's thinking. He said it was a job, but that's clearly my putting a button. Is normal. It's not a. I am normal. You're not normal if you just Everything sit around putting buttons. Fine. I am okay. Hmm. Hello, welcome back to reality. Stanley began screaming. Ah! Someone, wake me up! My name wake is Stanley. Wake me up! Wake me boss. up I inside! I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. Dun, dun, I must dun, dun, be real. Dun, dun, I must dun, dun, be. Dun, dun, Can anyone hear my voice? Ah! Everything went black. <laughs> oh. This oh. is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place. Of <laughs> but on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body I thought of it was a man changing who stories. Had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. <laughs> and although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. <laughs> he was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Uh. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am saying no one's normal. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. <laughs> Unlike it me. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. With very important <laughs> people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. Uh. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. She didn't even call an ambulance? And then she turned and ran. <laughs> ran, ran. <laughs> well, I've seen enough shit. Bye. <sighs> wow. So I went insane. That's, that's great. Hmm. Uh-oh. This is not the same. Well, I think Ben's gonna leave this here, so I'm gonna let him do his intro, and yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll let Ben sign off. But yeah, I've been Nathan. Bye. Hey, Ben! Time for you to sign off! Okay, I'll be in a second! Okay, so what did you do? Well, um, yeah, I went insane and jumped and killed myself? Yeah. Wait, really? You went insane in a game where you just listened to the guy? Yeah, I listened to the guy and then didn't, and then I died. Why? What? Sure, okay, you go, I'm gonna sign off, okay? And don't get into the bleach again! You know how like that does to your kidneys! Okay, I've been back. Anyways, guys, this, I've been Ben. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this, then make sure to leave a like and comment, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye! Guys, for this outro after the outro, I'm going to be doing a vote. It, either it's between Castle Crashers to play with friends, or between Civilization V to play with friends. Either way, I would play both, it just would be my play first. Um, and leave that in the comments, and here is a happy picture of a duck on a unicycle instead of a frog. Yeah, bye.